Hi, my name is Tony and in this video I will show you how to make these. Special shout out for all my channel members. Thank you so much for your support and expect more exclusive video tutorials like this one in the future. Ready to make these? Great. But wait, before you do anything, let's find out your hand size. I need to make sure you will choose and use the correct size before you waste your time and leather. Grab a soft tape. Measure your palm circumference here, like this, at a slight angle, and then write down your exact size so you know what pattern to print later. For this particular build, you will need a few scraps of soft to medium tempered leather, nothing heavier than five ounces. That's about two millimeters for our European friends. I used some red five ounces chrome tam for the knuckles and uh, the palm details here and some of this amazing color changing leather uh, treated with all sorts of uh, waxes and dyes to give it this unique look. Additionally and different from the stuff we usually need to make bags and other bigger leather items, make sure you get some 0.6 or 0.8 millimeter thread because for this to look this nice you're gonna need to make some tiny stitching holes trust me on this one i made the tiny holes with a 0.5 millimeter hole puncher but a lacing chisel like this one will also work. Next, go through your needles collection and pick the smallest one you have that are still suited for stitching leather. Here is what I use in comparison with the needles I use all the time, much smaller. Also, you will have to cut some tight corners and a precision cutter like this one might come in handy to get some very, very clean small cuts just like I did. And lastly, I repurposed a black elastic band I had from an old pair of protective goggles. We're gonna need that later. Now, let me show you how to access the pattern, how to print it properly, how to punch the stitching holes and how to cut the leather pieces.
And here are all the parts you need for uh, the left hand and uh, roughly where they go together. Let's start with this detail on the part, this one right here. Now, for this and for the knuckle details, it is very important to know they are not required for the integrity of the build. And therefore, they can be completely left out, completely optional. Personally, I think they give the gloves a racing vibe, especially with a contrasting colors uh, so I recommend you use them but I guess if you are after a more classic look uh, you can leave these details out now go ahead and stitch these using the saddle stitching technique and after you're done uh, you have to move on to the knuckles
been depressed for 170 years before I was born in this tournament, thrown in a hospital bed, born on this firmament, turning and turning into what I got it to be who I said, used to make flow, been in a bus and a plane and a boat, I put a touch in my pain and my notes, clutch the remains of the rope, either I learn how to cope with it, or I turn into a ghost living, some people turn into IG posts, some of us turn into quotes written, 13 I was on smoke, Zazani I was on the coast, 16 leaning on 10 beers and I'm on I just learned how to walk I just trip going backwards I should have been dead by now Living on a bold chapter 8 years where they all go Yo Gabe when you go Sometimes it's a good idea To hammer down the stitching And I think this is one of those times Pull up to the counter, fill the bag And the clerk asks me sure I'm just going to the store I'm just going to get more 1, 2 is like 3 and 4 Let's move on and attach this uh, thumb piece right here. Tell me something you can show me. Been a minute since I owed deed. Penicillin made my nose bleed. Hard to tell if we was homies. Always telling me a story. Everybody wanna check. Everybody's not a threat. Some came, some left. It is essential you put everything together in the same order I do. So um, Aren't you glad you're watching this right now? Of course you are. So start from exactly this point and work your way towards the end of the stitching line. I just trip going backwards. I should have been dead by now, living on a ball of chapter. 13, I was on smoke. Zazani, I was on a coast. 10 beers, and I'm on 16, leaning on. Now we have to do this bit here. It may be a little awkward, but take your time and align those tiny holes when you stitch.
great. Your thumb should fit right through. Now we need to attach these three little finger separators. A quick tap to fold them right on the middle and we're good to go. Take your time with this stitch and make sure the thread is super tight, especially when uh, you get to this bend right here. If you used the recommended four to five ounces of leather, uh, soft to medium temper, these small pieces should bend nicely and follow your stitch.
Next, do the other side. The second time over should be easier and you will attach the other two tabs in next to no time. One tip for you, if you have very thick fingers, you can increase the width of these small tabs, but only do that after you attach the first one and your finger is still too wide to go through. After you've got all the three finger separators in place, you can close the glove along this stitching line here. After this is done, you should be looking at this and wonder what is next. Am I done yet? Can I try this on already? Well, almost. We still need to do uh, this a bit here. That will hold the glove wrapped tightly around your hand. Don't like elastic, a buckle or a snap button will also work. Up to you. I like this look where you can barely see the elastic and it gives the glove a fluid 
elegant design. So just fold the elastic band under this piece of leather and stitch along the edges. Let me show you how exactly next. Once you are done, we need to attach it to the glove right here along this decorative stitching. And then on the other side over here. 
Make sure they're nicely aligned. There is enough here to allow your hand to slip through, in and out. Well, this is it. Your gloves are done and they should fit perfectly onto your hands. Thank you very much for watching and uh, stay close for more tutorials just like this one.